At the tender age of 10, Prince George has an extraordinary future mapped out for him. The Prince and Princess of Wales' eldest child will one day be crowned king, and as such, his parents have the difficult job of balancing the weight of his royal responsibilities with providing a normal and happy childhood for their son. Of course, as George grows older, he will increasingly step into the spotlight. His father is perfectly placed to help him navigate this transition. He has grown up under the same spotlight and has managed to strike a happy medium between his personal and public life. One of the standout moments on George's path to becoming a more prominent royal will be his very first solo engagement. While there are no set rules on the age of a young prince or princess will undertake this task, he is likely to take a leaf out of his father's book. Whilst he's sometimes seen alongside his parents, Prince William and Princess Kate, at major events, this is a rare occurrence. There are still many years yet before Prince George's first solo engagement, but we already have a feeling it could end up being very different to the Queen's. Until then, fans can expect to see the future king only rarely when he steps out alongside his proud parents. As revealed by the royal family website, the Queen undertook her first solo public engagement in 1943. Her Majesty undertaking her first solo engagement at such a young age showcases her commitment to the role. It also might come as a surprise to some, especially as fans anticipate Prince George's first solo engagement. However, there's a major sign that the future king's path could diverge from his great-grandmother's in this respect. Prince William's first solo engagement took place in June 2005, as King Charles' son was invited to join the British and Irish Lions rugby team on their tour to New Zealand. There were also huge crowds of excited well-wishers at the airport. The royal said awesome as the students shouted out the name of their college. With this in mind, it seems more likely that Prince George's first solo engagement might take place when he's in his early 20s too, following in his father's footsteps. This could even be linked to some kind of sporting team too, as Prince George is known for loving everything from rugby to football and has been to several matches with his parents. Another indication that Prince George's first solo engagement will be when he is older than 16 lies in the level of normality and privacy Prince William and Kate are said to be trying to maintain for him in his childhood. Interestingly, Prince Harry was also 23 when he undertook his first solo engagement. He received a very warm welcome from locals as he visited Cardiff's University Hospital and even had his first major public encounter when a local mother pressed her sleeping baby girl into his arms. Revealing one hard task that lies ahead for the almost 10-year-old, it described George's path to the throne as a learning process, as the young royal will likely become accustomed to royal duties from an early age. William has curated George's appearances in a completely different way from his mother and father curated his. He wants to protect his children for as long as possible, give them some semblance of a normal childhood. A source went on to speak about the exposure that George and his two younger siblings have and how it is on their terms. It added that the way George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis are choreographed is clever. The Prince and Princess of Wales have largely kept their three children out of the spotlight, only exposing them to various royal events. The adorable trio have been seen at quite a few events over the past year, slowly preparing them for their lives ahead.